Alright, so they went ahead and um, updated the new map with the fire department. So, I'll stand right here. Let's see if they got a cat inside the truck. Alright, so we're going to respond to the structure fire. Of course, we're going to be going code 3. This is going to be a serious fight right here. It's going up the whole side of the building. Alright, let's get the proper gear. Alright, we don't need none of that, so let's just go ahead and put on our SCVA. Let's get our own water hose. We can hook up the truck. We still got 3,000. And we've got 22 fires to put out. So that was one. And we got like 21 more to go. I was right. It is one of the this back of this building. So pretty much we're just going to be spraying down this whole bag of the building until all these fires out. I don't want to run into an oxygen problem from the back up. Most of these fires are going, right, going out right away. But this is a new map for Flash and Lights. And then, um, they're putting the fire department in now Madigan here. And then I think like by August, going to like September, this map is going to replace the old map. So it's going to be fire. 8 of 22 put out. So that's going to be 9 now. If I thought about it, I would have got the bigger truck. I think, I think I'm going to go back to the station and get the bigger truck. Finish putting these out though. It looks like I may have to get the bigger truck because I may have to climb up this wall, but I'm gonna take my chance and hope I can just not have to climb this wall. How lucky I get here. If, if I can get up that high. Alright. Luck is good today, guys. That's what matters. But definitely after this fire, we're going to have to go get the big truck. Because I forgot in the new map, a lot of these buildings are like bigger and taller than the uh, old map. So the small the smaller truck has a ladder, but the ladder in a small truck isn't that well. So mm -hmm. kind of sucks because like the last three or four fires I need to put out is like very high. So it's going back up. See if I get lucky here. I think my luck is about to run out in a minute. Or not. Because I feel like that is a glitch right there in the system. But I'll take that glitch to my advantage. 
Okay, I'm really liking this glitch, especially the fact that the water hasn't moved, but I won't complain. We got one more fire to put out here. I'm not even hitting it, truth be told. Am I hitting it now? Yep, I'm hitting it now. Boom. How do we do it? Put that structure, structure fire out. Grab the water hose. Put our SCB back. Alright, dispatch, go ahead and show me uh, 10 4 for clear. I'm going to dispatch, I'm going to go 10 56. Oh, oh, okay. I definitely didn't want to take that, that call. But, I looks like I got slept with this call automatically and I definitely can't do this call automatically so I gotta go get the other truck so hopefully that building doesn't burn down before I get there but we definitely gonna go get the other truck so FYI going forward this little truck ain't gonna work in the big map we hit this map I also apologize because I'm still trying to learn my way around this map. As you can see, I'm still playing in the old map, so I need to do like more. I'm going to do more time in here so I can figure out this map. Because right now, I'm like slapping every wall, slapping every light pole, and. Nah, that's just not good. Now, what I do like though on a new map though is like if you, when you play the part meta, you can spawn into the fire station or you can spawn into the hospital so let's go take a quick look around the fire station so got our computers I doubt we ever gonna sit down got another room uh, that's a vending machine some coffee let's go to and see what we got so we got another room here that they still working on don't know what they gonna finalize that for that looks interesting though more room, locker room. Oh yeah, this the this the chill room. So you can chill back, eat fire, get your dogs going. Locker room, and I believe this should have been. So this is gonna be like the showers, I want to say, but I could be wrong. And let's go upstairs. I think upstairs take us to the roof. Nope. Take us to another room. So. Another run is going to be whatever we want to put in there, but let's get it downstairs and get the bigger truck. So we got to go ahead to the checkout, checkout booth. I know y'all remember that from the old map. Well, on here, the checkout booth it's got bigger. I'm not going to change the lights and sirens. I'm just going to take it how it is so I can get over this fire. Alright, so we got that go outside it's there we should be equipped now to take calls so let's get over there all right dispatch go back it's on us 10 8 but we out on a call no long 10 56 
All right, we here on scene. Let's go. Go ahead and get our SCB out, and let's get out. No, not for everything. Yeah, water holes out. Can we still no. We can't. Can we? Yes. Can we still go to this side. Put this back. I feel like Yeah, we just wanna get our hours out. That's the right side. Let's go ahead and get the left side done. Got the ladder going. I do apologize as these ladder controls are never the easiest. That four wheel is like all the way bent. But it is what it is. Alright, we're gonna try this again. I haven't so many issues with the ladder. So.
Alright, we're gonna try again with this ladder because we really gotta get this fire out. So. Figure out these ladder controls, but I know for a fact that if I get down this ladder and get a fire extinguisher, I can put them out. So guess what? We're gonna get a fire extinguisher. We're gonna do it the old-fashioned way. So that's why I was trying to get the ladder to see I'm right there on the fire. Even though the fire thing takes a little bit longer, it puts me right at the fire. So I can put them up. I am going to use about like four or five of these. It's the only thing I fall about the fire station, but like I said, I do apologize because I've always been like practicing on how to use the ladder controls. It just ain't worked out.
All right, so we're almost done. Like I said, sorry it took so long, but I've I've practiced and practiced trying to work this ladder. I think one of I think one of these days I'm gonna just do like an online show. For some reason, there are people who prefer to just do the firefighter online. So I'll bring back I'll do an episode one day of online where I can get into a room that's not controlled and everybody's allowed to just. Be a part of it, have fun. But we are done and we are going to get out of here. I thought it was done with the race shot, but it wasn't, so... Let's finish putting these back up. Oh, it's crazy how this whole time I was doing that, and I could just hit this reset button. Hey, that's crazy. Let it back so we can get out of here. Definitely take a vehicle accident, so quickly put this down so we can get to that vehicle accident. Alright, let's get over there. Like I said before, everything that the ambulance people take and firefighter take is code 3. medic bag out because we also have a medic bag what's going on what's going on ain't much all right Let's inspect her all right pulse count she's breathing and everything but guess what just because she's breathing doesn't mean that's good all right so we can't do anything with her and we can't do anything with him this is a whew, this is a terrible vehicle accident. I don't even know how they smack each other like that. So 
before I did anything. Let me put this here. And let me go back. And I need to get the... They call it the spreaders, but in real life it's called the jaws of life, so... and get him him out alright so now I got them both fried and freed and I don't know what, what was going on my, my thing so I have to take her and let's go ahead and check him going with his neck it looks kind of messed up all right so he's breathing pulse sound conscious he probably he's got a neck injury maybe all right so we're gonna put a neck collar on him and then paramedics can take him from there that's what i said this is a bad looking accent about medic bag and get him all right so he's going to the hospital they're still working on the animation so right now you're just going to see the people disappear but as far as that we did our part let's pick up all the cones and we can get out of here good on gas, which is a good thing, but gas station right here, so we are going to get some gas real quick, and then get over to this vehicle incident, I think my gas pump is, on a fire truck is a little weird, but a gas pump is, but I do know for a fact that if I don't go to this one, I'm going to have issues at the other pumps. So, turn it off. Which we did. We can leave lights on and... Like I said, pump is weird on this one. Alright, so, we got enough gas, gas station down here don't take long, so, turn back on, and we're back at 100.
So I don't want to be in people's ways. So that's why I popped up on a curve. So what I'm going to do first is get them both. Both get these doors removed, then check them out, call the medics, and head one away. Oof, these fans today are. Uh, This van took a toll. My uh, spreaders, aka in real life, jaws of life, couldn't even figure out where to open it. It took so bad. Alright, so about the picture time. Right, let's get our meta bag and check these two people out. See if I can. Yep. All right. So she's on way to the hospital. I right, had to fully check out because they're gonna do the rest of the hospital. But let's check him out. His neck looks done. Yeah. They're gonna have some neck issues. And he's breathing, so that is a good thing. Oh, so he's gonna have a bone fracture. As you can see, that 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 neck brace is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and check the rescue. And I do not have. Do I have it? No. Nope. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna look for a fracture kit, which is only a medic thing. So guess what? So I'm get him to the hospital. We are done. So I'm going to go check in, check our truck back in. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.